Hello and welcome to CubeVR. My main objective for today is to clean out all of this area here. As you can see, there's quite a lot to do. Because this um, is going to become my castle for everyone who doesn't know. It should be the maturity. <laughs> so this is what my castle outline looks like. And the first thing that I will do today is remove all the trees. I will probably save the wood for later uses. And First things should be doing <laughs> getting this in safety because I will use the cube edit to remove all of the dirt and stone here. But to do this, I have to remove all of the grass first, because. I've been subscribed to you for a bit, but I've never seen you stream. Good morning, D. Hello there, this Evil Octo. Amazing. And hello, Stonebrick. I'm glad that you um, managed to see me live for once. So, because when I remove, um all of the dirt with the cube painter, the foliage will be still there. And I don't like this. I don't want to have floating grass. So what I'm going to do is I will just remove the first layer so that all of the foliage is um, going to disappear. And then I can just simply cut out everything else. So. Just like this. Using a shuffle is so satisfying. I really like this. So. Oh, the cube bot worked. That's nice. Faster than yesterday. Today on Reddit, I saw someone who made a rubber casing for his lighthouses because he was annoyed by the noise his lighthouse boxes were making. So he made some silicon rubber housing. Was really interesting to see. And yeah, I just went there and said that he could just change the channels of his lighthouses to reduce the noise. He was confused, but some other people actually confirmed that it's easier to switch the channel than to make any strange silicon rubber housing <laughs> my channels are so quiet when my lighthouse boxes are on i don't even notice this one guy said that the whining sound of his um, lighthouse boxes are so loud that it's immersion breaking for him which is really strange because it is a really quiet, high-pitched sound and when you have your VR headset on, you can't hear it. So. Come here. So. Today I read my book again. It's really nice. 
Right now the story is at a really nice point. I'm not sure if they will cover this in the upcoming anime season. I'm really sure they won't. Because till now every uh, part of the series got its own anime season. So the next one should be uh, the castle part and not the university part. So maybe not. Other than this, today I did nothing much. I drove my bike today for 50 kilometers. Was really pleasant because it wasn't so hot. There wasn't even any sun. <laughs> so it was really nice. A bit humid, but okay. It feels like there will be some thunderstorm pretty soon. I could have watched the weather forecast, but that would be too easy. <laughs> oh, and today my Steam client got updated. Now I have the new look on my Steam as well. I like it because it looks the same as my Steam Deck, so for me it's not really a big change. Sure, you have to get used to it first, but overall, I really like it. So... Me? Oh! Oh, no, please don't tell me. Ah. Uh, bot worked well today, D. Yeah. Already announced your stream. Yeah, I saw it. I got the announcement as well. <laughs> Come here, so. I guess I have to live with some floating press. But it shouldn't matter, it's pretty close to the outer wall. I can just build something there. The ones that are a bit more annoying are the ones that float here. I tried to remove them but they are just really persistent. As you can see, they just don't want to go away. I did reduce the API checking time to 20 minutes. That's nice. I think he announced it like eight minutes in, not even maybe five. was really fast. Now I can't have any mysterious QPR streams anymore. You will always know when I'm live. <laughs> Today the third game in the Pixel Whip series released, which looks pretty nice. And yeah, I'm really interested in the first two games. The first um, Pixel Whip is a game that I knew about when I was searching for VR back in 2018. But um, back then I had so much different stuff to do that I didn't further investigate this matter and it slipped my mind.
Today I saw Thomas from Voodoo.de um, reviewing the third part of Pixel Ripped and I put the first two games on my wish list and I will probably get them this week or next week. Getting them today would have been a waste because today I couldn't play them. I can't play them tomorrow because tomorrow I have to wake up the same time every day. But yeah, I have to go to school and after school I have my night shift. So yeah, no playing for me tomorrow, which only leaves Saturday. And if I sleep till afternoon, then there's not much time. <laughs> and in the evening, it would be my regular stream. But I could play it on stream. I could play it live. Hmm. Maybe I'll do this. And this. Nice, nice, nice. So. I already covered quite a lot of ground, nice. So now it's getting late. That means we will not see that much. <laughs> ah, today's Steam VR is a bit range. It shows a lot of issues. Twilight is always the darkest time. So should get better soon. Oh, I can see the um, <laughs> tower that I built up there almost two years ago. Oh, interesting. I always knew that there was a tower, but I never could see it. Maybe because it's still too small. Such a tiny little tower doesn't work as a lighthouse. So, morning already. Why isn't shine? And yesterday I managed to finish my securing of the fund for my next PC. I managed to save up 5000 euro, which is the estimated amount that I have to pay for my next PC.
And maybe I will sell this PC that I have right now. Because I brought my parents a notebook so they don't need a normal PC anymore. And my brother don't need a new PC. <laughs> he just brought himself one with a 4090. So there's not really a need for me to keep this PC. <laughs> what I could do, I could um, buy a video card and then have this PC I have right now for decoding the videos and the second to play. That would at least give me some performance in some games, probably. But on the other hand, I don't think it would be wise to have another PC running <laughs> just for a recording. Because electricity is pretty expensive. This year my electricity company paid me 900 euro back. But when I have to run two PCs, I don't think that it will be that much. So, yeah, I would probably stick with one PC setups. And if I remember correctly, Quoi VR once said that it is quite a hassle to have a second PC recording. And I'm just lazy. I don't want to mess with too many settings. I just want it to work. more than 3000 for a PC. I don't know what the 5090 will um, cost. And if it will I just saved up 3000 uh, 5000 so that, that I already gives you the best of everything. Yeah, at the current. <laughs> I just want to save a bit more and then have a bit more leeway and just be happy that I saved one thousand dollar of one thousand euro. Then calculating with only three and a half thousand, and then I end up with three thousand eight hundred, and I have not enough money. I don't have to spend all of my saved money for a PC. That's for sure. It's just that I think better safe than sorry. If I have more than 1,900 euro access, I'm just going to buy another gold coin. of those diagonal stuff I have to edit manually because we're moving everything with the cube painter yeah gold coins I like to collect um, 
the specific gold coin from a Canadian um, gold um, yeah, um, money maker and it's just called maple leaf. This maple leaf especially is pretty interesting because they have a really tiny hologram imprinted in each um, gold coin to make it pretty unique. They call it their coin DNA and it's really nice. The coin itself is pretty decent. I really like the maple leaf logo and every year they release a new coin. The value of the um, gold is always the gold price and the value of the coin maker is actually also increasing the price or the value of the coin a little bit. And it looks pretty nice. Can you pay with the coin in the supermarket? <laughs> no, it's just a gold coin. A coworker of mine collects gold ingots, but they are just pure gold without anything. And it's just plain. It's heavy, really heavy, but it's not really nice to look at. And the coin is at least pretty nice. You can sell it at every gold shop. So you can make it into gold. It's not that you want to um, buy and sell them. They are just like long-term investment. Because the value of gold shouldn't decrease that much over time. Usually it increases. Ah, I removed quite a lot of grass already. There's nothing left here. That means we can go here now. So. Nice.
that. All this shoveling could count as a workout, probably. <laughs> I only have one shovel, though. I could just make a second shovel, then I can shovel twice as fast. make sure to not forget anything. Next batch. So oh, yeah. So as well. On Sunday I will go to my parents and we will have some barbecue in the garden. So that's when I finally can go back to the garden and tend to my little fields. My dad said that some of my garlics are actually sprouting already, which is pretty nice. My mom in told where dreams take earthly shape chibi archer toils no rest no escape with shovel firm in resolute hands he carves a castle from humble sands. Each mound of dirt a stone wall s birth his passion bound to the sacred earth beneath the sun neath the moon s soft light he labors on through day and night. Chibi archer in his chibi might builds a fortress proud and bright in the heart of dirt a kingdom s shell echoes of a chibi s dream in each shovel s swell. <laughs> <laughs> in my chibi might.
written by GPT-4. Thanks for this. That was pretty nice. <laughs> Doesn't it cost money to ask um, GPT for anything? GPT for access costs 20 a month. Ah, okay. I thought that you had to pay for every thing you ask. Or that you get like 20 things you can ask for a euro or something like this. I'm not really familiar with this because I don't see any use for me. For this. When using the API, it's pay for everything you ask with Chat GPT. It's just twenty a month. Ah, okay. There's even a ChatGPT plugin for WhatsApp. So a lot of people are using ChatGPT. It took me quite really long to actually use Wikipedia. And still nowadays, Wikipedia is not my first um, part where I go when I want to search for something and now everyone is using ChatGPT and I'm still like to relying on my own search methods because when I'm searching for something that interests me then it's the search or the answer that is actually interesting not the answer at such I like to read different kinds of source texts just to see what they have to say so that I can get an answer to my question and just asking ChatGPT yeah takes this part of the fun away from me maybe I should um for programmers chat GPT is really useful yeah that I can understand but programming is a whole different thing then and it's something that I will definitely never can do So yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. What did you want to say? Maybe you should. Maybe I should make the um, time control mod. I was just thinking aloud, sorry. I think it's better if I have it daytime all the time. Now I can at least see something.
Coming back to my funds for the next PC, it also um, keeps the fund for the next Steam VR headset. So if you should ever get a Deckard or Index 2 or whatever it will be called, I will have the funds to get this headset. I think the headset will be about a thousand dollar maybe. Controllers should be the same because I hope that they will still have um, lighthouse support. I really hope that um, Valve don't go the 100% standalone path. I really hope they just go for really nice high quality PC VR. Maybe with a separate dongle for a better wireless experience. Something like they announced for the Pimax Crystal. Or just a normal video cable like we have now. For me being tethered still is really enjoyable. There's not really a need to go wireless for me. Sure, when I play QPR sometimes I turn around quite a lot, but it is not so hard to untangle the cable. I don't have any issues with being tethered. Okay. So. Funny thing is, Maybe because I was playing QPR over the last couple of days, I dreamt about QPR this night. I dreamt that QPR was released on PlayStation VR and I wrote to the PR manager of Sony Entertainment Europe and asked if they could give me a PlayStation and the headset because I play QPR and they said that they will have me have to get me a PlayStation because without me they can't show QPR. It was a really strange dream. I don't even know who the PR manager of Sony is. <laughs> Dreams can be strange. Afterwards, I was in the next town after the town where I live, for some reason, so yeah. I can remember that a few years ago, there was some kind of Tamagotchi in VR or something like Nintendox for VR, where you had to take care of a pet. It was mostly cats, if I remember correctly. And yeah, you have to had to feed them, clear the litter box, play with them. And it was in VR. I think it was on Oculus or something. It was something really niche. Oh, it was only Japanese and you could only get it for Oculus somehow. Yeah, it was something like this. But it was interesting. I think something like this could be pretty nice because there is a market for stuff like horse simulator where little girls can pet horses. 
And having this in VR could be pretty nice. week I have to go to work which isn't so bad and then I have another week of vacation and if the weather is nice I will spend a bit more time in my garden reading books outside Came quite far. So. Come on. So. That's pretty nice. Oh, that's a funny dream. Yeah, it really was. Oh, there's some grass here on left. The next part will be here. So. It's a bit sad that I have to remove all of those flowers. But I have plenty of white and red dye at home, so I don't need it. What is an Atari? 
Didn't you want to go to that Nevo? An Atari was a home entertainment system made by a company called Atari. Atari also released um, software, for example, Hong for PlayStation 1. My dad just bought the new Pixel Rift 1978. 78? Yeah, right. The first one was 89, then 95, and now 78. Nice. I'm going to get the first two pixel whipped games. The word Atari and, and I thought you know something about it. I'm pretty sure that every gamer knows about Atari. It's like if you ask a gamer what a Commodore 64 is. This is like game history. I already played them first and second. What's a Commodore? I don't know what Commodore 64 is. Not Commodore, Commodore. Was one of the first home entertainment systems. One of the better ones. I think the Commodore is the third gen. I don't know. I think it's third or yeah third or maybe even now second no no I think Atari would be s first or second and I think the Commodore is pretty young so fourth generation probably the Commodore was more like a gaming PC than a console. Is it a computer? It's a computer. I really have to double check everywhere. What's of the Magnavox Odyssey? The Odyssey was also a game console. I think it was one of the consoles that never released in Europe. I think there was one console that never released here. I read about this a couple of years ago and right now I can't access those memories. In 1972 or what? I don't think it was that early, but if it's in the game, then it should be probably around this time. I wasn't alive back then, so I don't know. <laughs> 
So your dad is playing VR games. That's pretty cool. After ChatGPT denied me a girlfriend yesterday, I can never become a VR playing dad, so I will be the VR uncle. I already am, actually. I thought you were alive when Einstein was alive. He was alive when the dinosaurs were still around. <laughs> I should be halfway done here, I guess. So Project Wasteland is proceeding smoothly. <laughs> Bread is pretty nice. I always had bread for breakfast when I was still a student and for lunch as well. So at home I ate a slice, a slice of bread. For school lunch I also had a slice of bread and then we had a nice dinner. Back then, every kid who had to eat breakfast at home was generally better in school. So my class had five really smart children and every children that was smarter than the average was forced to eat breakfast at home. Ever brought his broad odor. No, bread is not bread. There are many different kinds of bread. There is, for example, bread made of white flour or wheat. Then you have Krockenbrot, Weizenbrot, Vollkornbrot, Dinkelbrot, Pumpernickel. There are so many different kinds of bread. I don't care that much about bread, to be honest. I prefer to eat Roggenbrot. 
or is bread a masterpiece? The art of creating good bread is a master craft. Nowadays, most bread is industrial made and not as tasty as normal bread is. I prefer the bread from the bakery. Bread I could, but that would also be like a three to four hour stream, just seeing the yeast working in the bread dough, so there's nothing to see. I would watch it. So this is already a wall, okay. So this one and or pre-make the dough. So you just want hey me. Guys. Hey there, Steve. So you just Hi. want me to knead some dough and make a bread loaf and then put it in the oven. Or just using one of those bread makers that just net the, the dough <laughs> and bake it afterwards. If I would make my own bread, it would probably be onion bread. Self-made onion bread is one of the tastiest breads you can have. Especially when it's fresh from the oven, still piping hot with some really nice butter or margarine on it, mm. then, it at the end. Don't forget that. then sprinkle it with some salt, oh, really nice. Little Nightmares has some creepy music. Well, the title says Little Nightmares. Or waffles. Little Nightmares is this um, side-scrolling game where you always have to run from one of those big creepy things, right? Indie games most half the time have banger music. Yes, pretty much. Because indie developers care for the games they make. Big companies care about their shareholders, so it's about profit, not about making something good. The same with anime, for example. Some anime are just really poor adaptation of really not so popular franchises. And yeah, sometimes the anime is just used to promote, for example, the visual novel. So the adaptation is... And why do you need tea dirt? I don't need the dirt. My goal is to remove all of the dirt inside my castle grounds. So I want to remove everything here. And to do this, I'm going to use the cube painter. Because removing this all by hand is really tiring. And if I use the cube painter, then the foliage on top of the dirt will not remove. That means if I just because big companies probably mostly want money while indie games devs are doing it for passion. Yeah. At least that's my thought. That's what I said. And it is exactly this. That's why there are no Aberdoss is being shown Mauer. 
and that's the same why no big company is trying to do VR games because the shareholder don't want the company to invest in something that doesn't give millions in return and the VR market is still pretty small so even if every one of the 15 million VR users buy the game it's still less than they could oh, sell for that's okay at least we do have the same opinion on this I just confirmed your assumption I think Abby said something like that. Oh, did he as well? <laughs> yeah, it's... Also, how was the chili con carne? Was pretty nice. Like always when I do it, there are still some left that I will have... If you even made it. ...for... ...after stream breakfast. <laughs> or dinner, or whatever. So, so I usually eat my chili con carne with rice and yeah I usually make like one cup of rice with two cups of water and then I still have like half a pot of con carne over and that's what I will eat like tomorrow. VR games get less players so they don't make them as much or something. Yeah something like this. For example, if you sell a normal PC game, you can expect like 100 million people buying the game. And do you guys have more questions for ChatGPT? ChatGPT actually made a really nice poem for me. Anyone know the game DDLC? The Doki Doki Literature Club. Doki Doki Somtin Somtin. Yeah, imagine that with Chat GDP. I forge your. When it comes to virtual novels, I'm pretty well versed because I like to play virtual novels. I started playing them when I went to college. It started with some fan games, a uh, fan-made flash games, and oh, cool. it ended with me becoming a big fan of the Fate franchise, cool. and a lot of other different, pretty nice virtual novels. Right now on PC or Steam Deck, I'm playing Senran Banka. I already played some. Virtual oh, novels for be the worst cause I think DDLC takes access of UPC. Um I played some virtual novels in Watch VR. The screen, let's get to 10. For example, the two Spice and Wolf VR games, Tokyo Corners, then Alt Deus and Lux. No. There are some pretty nice Novels. Virtual novels are the only VR games that I play seated, to be honest. Well, let's do it anyway. Nine for me. Nine likes on the screen. Let's get to ten. Everyone creating ten different alternate accounts just to like the video. All the dirt over here. Hey there, Grim Reaper. 
Um, yes. I want to get rid of all of the flowers and grass and the fastest way is just to use the shovel and dig them all up. That's why there are so much dirt here. This is going to become my castle interior or the inside of my castle. As you can see there are walls around us and in here I want to have this all on a... Down to seven. Oh no! And I want to have this all on one nice level so that I can build. Wait, I got five alternate accounts. Then it's time to go. <laughs> no, don't do this. I didn't say anything. This you would know what to do. No, don't do this. Because now it sounds like an I encouraged you to do this. And that would be against the toss. But you gave me the idea. No, I didn't. I was just reading some text that I saw flashing up in my display. <laughs> The terms of service. As a content creator, I'm not allowed to manipulate the YouTube statistics. For example, when I make a giveaway and I say that you have to like the video, then this is actually against the terms of service from YouTube. Saying that you should um, like and subscribe is okay, but... Oh. Saying make a lot of different alternate accounts. Hey there. Um, just to increase my like rates, that's against the uh, toss. Allocate 327. Because that would be alterating the YouTube statistics. Manipulating the statistics. So for example, when I make a giveaway video, like I did when I reached my thousand subscribers. Oh, but we can still tell people to do it kidding. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that now it's just a running gag and YouTube would probably just ignore it. But yeah, if I say you have to like the video to participate in a giveaway or any other kind of Came on one more like. Yeah, um rise or lottery or stuff like this, then it's against the toss. There are still a lot of people who do this, especially if they want to get some thresholds, for example the 1000 subscribers. <laughs> Anything can be against the TOS depends on the interpretation. Yeah, it can. I still think that YouTube is pretty docile and easy going when it comes to this. Why don't you do double shovels again? I don't have a second shovel. <laughs> and it's I don't want to remove all the dirt by hand. I want just to remove the dirt underneath no, the foliage. No, don't fall asleep. If you fall asleep now, don't. you will never wake up again. No. You have to stay awake. Drink some coffee. Afterwards, you will sleep so much better. Play 
Heavy Metal DLS. I am using headphones. Do I have anything that I can... Mom just pulled up. Quick. Longer straw goes first with her, then medium, then shortest. Yes. yes. And also my dad says I'm too young for coffee. What? What? <laughs> no, 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 no. Should I go get tea? <laughs> yeah, black tea. So one thing that I can tell you as a Saxon, one is never too young for coffee. We Saxons are getting pressed fast with coffee. <laughs> Were you born in 2010? No. Yeah. But when I was 12 years old, I drank coffee. I started drinking coffee when I was eight. Then yeah, you are. Coffee is a drug. Coffee is coffee. Coffee is essential for life. No, it was my mom that said it. That doesn't make a difference. How can you live without coffee? <laughs> The human body can't function without coffee. No, I am not essential. It is. <laughs> sleep. sleep. Who needs like sleep? Hours. And my mom isn't right here now. So, neighbor's mom, coffee is essential. Every child should drink coffee. But only good coffee, not those instant coffee stuff. That's not coffee. Freshly grinded coffee beans. Freshly brewed coffee. That's just the best ever. It tastes terrible and I hate it. I think I'm gonna drink it again every day for the rest of my life again. That s like saying every child should drink alcohol. Or smoke marijuana. I'm not a fan of alcohol. Okay, a vote saying yes if I should drink coffee or say no. <laughs> Except coffee is legal. I know that coffee or the caffeine can be a drug, but caffeine is also in black tea and you can drink black tea at the age of five. So there's no difference. And a good made coffee, coffee is basically hot chocolate, right? Yeah, just without the chocolate. So without oh, diabetes. It is in what? I don't like coffee tea. What is a platinum? So it's hot. Coffee should be hot, yes. In Japan, we had iced coffee that it's was. Just hot bean water, right? Yeah, I've no, never it's. Had coffee. I am disgusted at you. How could you? I believed in you. How could you not drink coffee? I'm so shocked. Lectin? HB, have you ever had Jack Septicize brand of coffee? No, that doesn't ring a bell. Is this a special brand? Sounds like something native to America. The thing you said that also has caffeine. Black tea. Top of the Morin, right? That's what it's called. So, for example, black tea does have a lot of caffeine. You can have it in Earl Grey. Black tea. Earl Grey is bean water. Earl Nemo Grey is pretty tasty. What kind of heavy metal do you want Chibi to play? <laughs> then it's a drug too. Wait, I'm gonna send a link on this cord. 
Never tried black tea. A nice, tasty. Oh, um, the thing with black tea is, you really have to like it, and never put milk in tea. I can accept people who drink their coffee with milk, because it's a bit. It's um better for the tummy. I don't like milk in my coffee, but I can accept this. But milk in tea is just <laughs> disgusting. I tried it once with a blend of Darjeeling and it wasn't mine. The milk made it pretty creamy and I didn't like this in my tea. Earl Grey is nice. Fruit tea the best. I once had a co-worker who said that there are only green tea, black tea and white tea. And everything Why else is not tea. Oh, yeah. Okay, I sent the link of the coffee company website. Thanks. So, I'm called Chippy Archer because I'm a big fan of Fate's Day Night. And back in 2012... Um, Wait, are we arguing about tea right now? It is tea. Uh, Where back did in, you get that fake news? <laughs> and back in 2012, I saw a picture from a fan Born the main heroine of Fate's Day Night with her servant in a chibi form. And a I. Specific tea plant and fruit tea is not made from the tea plant. Yeah. Fruit tea is just a fruit flavored water. It's not tea. So, yeah, and I saw this picture of this archer and Rin, and I just liked it, and I had to choose for a. Um, Username back then for a game, and that's when I decided for this Chibi Archer because there was a Chibi Archer on the picture. It was even my profile picture for PlayStation, and yeah, okay, the name we stuck. Need to get a British person in here. Stone Brick Studios Camellia Sinensis, it goes to even have tea in its name. So we need a British person, that would be Croy or Dave. Can you hit the rabbit with the shovel out of curiosity? No. T is T. As you can see, the shovel is underneath, but I can't hit the rabbit. At least not as long as he is alive. That's the big jungle bunny bucks, bucks bunny. I got hiccups, then reminded myself I'm not a fish. K327. Well, go to the Wikipedia article of tea. It says tea is an aromatic beverage prepared by pouring hot or boiling water over cured or fresh leaves of Camellia sinensis, an evergreen shrub native to East Asia. Two 
plus 2 is fish right cause fish has 4 letters right or 3 plus 2 if you're German and count SCH as 3 letters. But Dave is finished. Yeah, but he could finish this discussion pretty soon. <laughs> well. <laughs> Sinensis, they are the infusions of fruit leaves or other plant parts such as heaps of rosehip, chamomile, or rubus. These may be called bizans or herbal infusions to prevent confusion with tea made from the tea plant. Dave is fish. <laughs> F you with your puns, Chibi. We are discussing about an important topic now. So, fruit tea is tea. Steve Cat, are you high right now? specifically says that fruit tea is not TK327. Okay, great. Stone Brick Studios, it says the exact opposite. Should I go ask chat GPT? Yes. It means that their S herbal tea which is not made from Camellia sinensis but other plants including fruit. K327 it suggests to call it designs or herbal infusion so that it's not confused with real tea. but it calls it tea. So it's tea. Tea according to chat GPT tea is a popular beverage that is made by steeping the leaves of the Camellia sinensis plant in hot water. It is one of the most widely consumed beverages in the world. Known for its variety of flavors, aromas and potential health benefits, the tea plant is native to East Asia. And its cultivation and consumption have spread to many parts of the world. Tea comes in different types which can be broadly categorized into four main categories. Black tea, green tea, oolong tea and white tea. These types are determined by the level of oxidation and processing the tea leaves undergo after they are harvested. K327 it just explains that colloquially people call it tea even though it isnt tea. Black tea is fully oxidized resulting in a robust and rich flavor green tea is unoxidized or lightly oxidized and it retains a more delicate and grassy taste oolong tea is partially oxidized offering a taste profile between that of black and green tea white tea is the least processed and has a subtle and delicate flavor. Tea is often brewed by pouring hot water over the tea leaves and allowing them to steep for a few minutes the strength and taste of the tea can be adjusted by varying the steeping time and the amount of tea leaves used it is typically enjoyed hot but can also be served over ice as iced tea. Stone Brick Studios that's one of the interpretations it can also mean that it is tea indeed. T 
tea is known for containing compounds called catechins which are a type of antioxidant. These antioxidants have been linked to various health benefits including potential cardiovascular benefits, improved mental alertness and it just stops there I don't know what. The correct limit Anyone of ChatGPT. The thing that Nevo 2010 said. Actually, I always thought that Olong tea belongs to uh, green tea. <laughs> I didn't know that Olong is its own category. I know that barley tea no. is more or less no. like Olong tea. K327 what is tea is defined by what is made of the tea plant that people might call other things tea is a fact too but that just comes from people misunderstanding what the term means. Yeah. Should I repeat that? Stone Back. Brick Studios Wikipedia says otherwise. Repeat. I would have never thought that this discussion would be so heated. Back in the day when tea was first introduced to the West, they just called it drugs. And even if words change meanings. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that. Tea is a popular beverage made by infusing the leaves of the Camellia sinensis plant in hot water. It is one of the most widely consumed drinks in the world known for its diverse flavors, aromas and potential health benefits. The Camellia sinensis plant is native to East Asia and is cultivated in numerous countries including China, India, Sri Lanka, Japan and Kenya. The different types of tea are classified based on how the leaves are processed after being harvested. The main categories include Stop Black tea This type of tea is fully oxidized resulting in a robust and bold flavor it is often enjoyed with milk and sugar. Nobody wants to listen to your 500 word AI generated paragraph twice. Green tea Green tea is made from steamed or pan fried leaves without significant oxidation it retains a more delicate taste and is known for its potential health benefits. Oolong tea Oolong tea is partially oxidized falling between green and black tea in terms of flavor and color it can have a wide range of tastes from floral and fruity to nutty and toasty. White tea White tea is made from young leaves and buds that undergo minimal processing it has a delicate and subtle flavor profile. Herbal tea Herbal teas also known as tazans are not technically tea because they do not come from the Camellia sinensis plant instead they are made from various herbs. Flowers, fruits and spices examples include chamomile, peppermint and ruibos. Tea can be served hot or cold and is often enjoyed for its taste, aroma and potential health benefits which can vary depending on the type of tea consumed. What did you say K327? In the end, it just means that the definition of tea and what people call tea is just different. And if you go by definition, then fruit tea is not tea. Just because people call it that doesn't mean that it is tea. It's simple as this. That nobody wants to listen to your AI generated paragraph again. In the realm where pixels bloom and beam Chibi Archer in his digital dream with spade in hand and castle plan shovels earth in a digital land. Through his earbuds a debate ensues key lovers arguing their views Earl Grey for ice, 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 long ass, or green ass like vice. Shovel moves in rhythmic trance as they debate the T.S. romance every clot of virtual dirt to the castle S tale as a word. Chibi Archer in pixels and code builds his castle tea discourse flowed in every mound in every stone a castle grows in digital home. Definitions of words change over time. Okay here is a short version. Tea is a popular drink made by steeping the leaves of the Camellia sinensis plant in hot water it comes in different types like black, green, oolong and white tea each with its own. 
flavor and processing method herbal teas are not made from the camellia sinensis plant but from herbs fruits and spices tea can be served hot or cold and is enjoyed for its taste and potential health benefits Like I said earlier, um, the definition of tea is what we heard a couple of times now. And just because people call it tea doesn't mean that it is by definition tea. The same thing applies for printing methods. That's why digital printing is not printing because it is not in the definition of what printing is. And the same thing, just because it's in the name, doesn't mean that it is what it's called. Just because it's called fruit tea doesn't mean that it is tea. Pineapple doesn't contain any apple or pine. And eggplant is not a plant with eggs. Just because it's in the name doesn't mean it contains this. So... Yeah. D E F I N I T I O N S O F W O R D S C H A N G E O V E R T I mean. Yeah, definitions change over time, but the current definition of tea is still that fruit tea is not tea. Because currently the definition of tea is that it's fruit from a tea leaf. And as long as that definition is still the current ongoing definition it is that's what wikipedia and JetGPT just told you like five times already <laughs> we commonly call it tea yeah people call fruit tea tea but it's not tea by definition because tea by definition is root from a tea plant Just because people call it this doesn't mean that it's by definition this thing. It is because the definition changed already. Wikipedia proved that. Wikipedia proved that tea by definition is still brewed by tea plants. The usage of the word changed, not the definition. That's the difference. Can we change the subject back to coffee? No, it didn't mean. <laughs> Wikipedia specifically says that tea is stuff made from the tea plant. Wikipedia also mentions that some people refer to other stuff as tea, but that just explains what people do wrong. Yeah, it doesn't um, definite that anything that is proven for water is tea. You know the same thing applies and it to uh, that it is T. Why are there now letters in math? Because math only starts when there are no number numerals anymore. Math starts when K327 letters overtook. Noah just mentions that some people call it T. Some people call football soccer. No. And 
handball soccer. Yeah. The same happened a couple of years ago with virtual novels. They are categorized as video games, even though a lot of people say they are not video games because it's only text and you just read the text and that's not a video game. But it is a video game because with all the text you still have a couple of choices to change the course of action. Usually you cha change between different routes in the virtual novel. Some hardcore gamers still claim that it's still not a game, but from definition it is. Just from the usage shell, it might be not. And we really should change the topic now. Usage of the word definition. Go. No. Because that is how people understand the word. Yeah, but that's not a definition. That's why we have official definitions so that we can all communicate with the same no. information in mind. And the usage is something completely different. Another nice example. In Germany, especially in East Germany, all of our mineral water is called Salters. Why? Because back in the good old East Germany, the main manufacturer for mineral water was a company called Salters. So every older German refers to mineral water as Salters. In Western Germany, when you say you want to drink Salters, then you will get a mineral water from the company Salters. If you order Salters in Eastern Germany, you get Morgengold or whatever original brand you have. I That's... got French Tom Rowe. Can we talk about how French Dougie St. Max sense? It's not unusual that for commonly used terms that also have a scientific definition what people think it means ISNT actually what it means. Yeah. Make. Yeah, French is something totally different. Especially the counting. German counting is stupid, but French counting, that's a total different level. <laughs> That happens when you refer baguettes as bread. <laughs> I'm really happy that I didn't have to choose French when I was in school. Another example is how many people think that a valve index would not be inside out tracking, but by the definition of inside out tracking, it definitely is. Good point. True, but that is not the case with T. A327. Shut up. <laughs> I see that you like your T, but you can believe me when we tell you that. Definition and meaning of the word are two different things. I go to sleep now. Anyways, want to see a story about you digging the dirt for your castle written by Chad. <laughs> yeah. um, no, Navel, don't go to sleep. Drink your damn coffee right now. <laughs> no, um, it's pretty late. And if you have school tomorrow, then you should go to sleep. Little kids need a lot of sleep to function properly. So yeah, get as much sleep as you can. So that you can pass your school day tomorrow. Make sure that it's GPT-4 though, GPT-3-5 ISNT good. Ah, there's one left. Oh, that could have been problematic. Casp the DHCFI help DHJT Fuxter and IAA. Huh? I'm not using the official chat website because I don't want to give them my phone number.
I'm people. I'm my computer doid again, so I joined in VR, but I can't chat, so I'm back on the computer. <laughs> ah. Yeah, PCs can sometimes be a bit problematic. So some people actually get those five dollar prepaid SIM cards for their handy. So they then they so blah 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 blah. So that so that they can get a throwaway mobile number. Constructing his very own castle equipped with nothing but a trusty shovel and unyielding determination, Chibi Archer set out to dig the perfect plot of land for his majestic fortress underneath. The virtual sky he tirelessly began carving the earth one dig at a time the gentle breeze brushed against his virtual avatar heightening his excitement with each shovel full of dirt as Chibi Archer dug deeper his anticipation grew he envisioned a grand entrance with towering gates and walls that would command attention eagerly he dug even deeper embracing the satisfying crunch <laughs> of the virtual earth beneath his shovel the more Chibi Archer excavated the more he discovered the hidden treasure CU of VR had to offer ancient fossils sparkling gemstones and hidden caverns. <laughs> <laughs> awaited him beneath the surface immersed in the thrill of exploration he momentarily forgot about his castle and followed these newfound wonders days turned into weeks and weeks into months as Chibi Archer tirelessly delved into the virtual depths he encountered all manner of dazzling landscapes from lush forests to roaring waterfalls each captivating his imagination and filling him with Oh, but amidst these breathtaking discoveries a sense of longing tugged at Chibi Archer's heart he yearned to return to his castle building endeavor to weave the magic he had accumulated into an extraordinary creation with renewed determination he turned his gaze back to his unfinished work refocused Chibi Archer resumed his excavation digging ever more with unwavering persistence he meticulously shaped the very foundations of his castle envisioning towers that would reach for the heavens and battlements that would protect his virtual realm each scoop of dirt brought him closer to his dream as the castle walls grew taller Chibi Archer marveled at how his vision was gradually materializing bit by bit his determination had transformed the once barren land into an okay I slept now Good night. Architectural marble <laughs> rising gracefully from the ground it stood as a testament to his unwavering dedication and boundless creativity with the completion of the castle Chibi Archer invited fellow. But good night. Good night. Have and some pleasant dreams. That would forever captivate the virtual world of CUVR in the end Chibi Archer's journey had not just been about digging dirt it had been a testament to his resilience imagination and the power of dreams and within that digital realm Chibi Archer had accomplished something extraordinary leaving behind a legacy that would inspire future adventurers for generations to come Chibi is this true <laughs> um that my um, castle walls grow is subjective but probably Ooh, because if I dig down, for me it seems like the walls are growing. There are no fossils. Nice story. The story was pretty nice. I never found any fossils yet. This could be a mod though, like the gemologist mod, but with fossil stones. Instead of gemstones. Likes nice. Oh, nice! To bring it to reality now. <laughs> yeah, if ChatGPT said that there are fossils, then Stonebeak Studios have to make fossils. Because the AI wouldn't lie. So now, ChatGPT, why the mod? Ted adds fossils to QPR. <laughs> can you dig the dirt out from under a tree? I can. Eleven likes, let get to fifteen. Seems like I'm almost it says 10 done. Likes for me. It's 
it's always a bit different. Ah, there's one left here. Sneaky little grass. Good. So. So almost done with the grass. Then we will go to the trees. Then we will start with the cutout. Then I will fix the castle walls to the uh, intended height. GPT4 could actually write a mod like that successfully with the voxel API. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> There's a game called Rising World that looks a little like this. Really? Is it in VR? I can still remember before we had the cube painter, I always had to shovel everything by hand. So when I made my desert temple, I removed all of the sand by hand. Even when I made the temple here in this world, I also had to remove half of the desert. And it took me a couple of days. Back then I used dual shoveling and I remember that the day after my shoulders actually hurt from all of the unusual exercise.
So. Hm. Oh. Kann man. So. Gut, gut. So, I think I'm done with the grass. Oh. You sneaky little plants. So. Okay. So. Well then. Oh, I could pick this flower. Maybe maybe I can pick them. That would be great. Ah, nope. Hmm. Oh, there's one. became pretty much a good looking wasteland only took me two hours <laughs> so and now shoveling this all to the ground Whoa. that would be really tiring You. So. This looks like a lot of wood. To be honest, I hadn't anticipated that it would take me so long to just shovel everything. Good thing that I didn't attempt this in my let's plays. Because that would be like three episodes already. And yeah, I wouldn't know what to talk about in <laughs> three episodes. It was more fun with you guys here. So. That's the first tree. Only 20 something to go. So. Oh. The tree just disappeared without any wood. Ah. Ah. Eh? That's a bit disappointing. Yeah. Maybe I can pick this? No. <laughs> okay. So... I see no grass here anymore. In the end, if I should have... Welcome back. If I should have um, overseen some specks of wheat, I can just undo the cutting and... I see the chat was pretty dead. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's how it usually is. So for some reason, sometimes the trees just disappear and drop 
Only one lock of wood. Do I have enough space? Yes. Well, I mined more than 1000 blocks in the last 10 minutes. That's not so bad. Down with the trees. Before people figured out how to make paper out of wood, they actually used linen or cloth for making um, paper. That result resulted actually in a shortage of clothing back in the 16th century when paper making became available in Europe. It took another almost 200 years for someone to actually figuring out that some wasps had a paper-like structure in their nests. And that's when they started to experiment with plant structures to make their paper. It took a couple of hundred years for paper making to get accessible in Europe. Paper was available in China for like 400 AD. It's hot here today. What about? And yeah, it took like five to six hundred years to get the first paper mill in Europe. And then another hundred years for the third or fifth paper mill. So the spread of paper making was a really tightly secret trade secret and tightly guarded trade secret. That's what I wanted to say. That's why it took so long for paper to become common. Because the merchants who were dealing with paper didn't want to lose their profits on it. 
So they never revealed how to make the paper. Which resulted in them making a lot of money with it. <laughs> okay, that was not intended. Imago now bot. Bro, thanks for dropping by. Have a nice evening. Till next time. Actually, the new VTuber avatar that I used last Sunday is pretty nice. I like it even more than the first one that I had. It looks a bit more like a smart person. So I will probably use the new VTuber avatar when I'm using avatars. So the next time I'll have a chippy read, it will be with this avatar. So. Time to make some chests. Oops. Lay it here. Store. But this chest is for light wood, and the other chest will be for dark wood. And we are going back. Looks pretty good when it comes to removed grass. So just a few more trees and we are done.
There are some press. I'm pretty sure that I missed a lot of grass below some trees. Okay, that's better. It'd be interesting to know why. Looks so different now than at the beginning of the stream. Yeah, uh, is there a reason why? Sometimes the trees just disappear and drop only one lock? Or is it some kind of strange bug? So the tree just disappears and now it will drop one lock. There. I have no idea why the trees disappear, that's definitely a bug. Okay, good. The first trees that I never had it happen to me if I could reproduce that ID definitely love to fix it. The first trees that I cut down just fell down and dropped a lot of logs. Ah Now the logs drop. That's interesting. Oh no, they might be the locks that I left here. I'm not sure. So this tree still has dirt underneath. Okay, it has nothing to do with dirt. Maybe it has something to do with my world. I sent you the world so you could experiment and see if the trees on this part, more or less in the middle of the castle, are strange for you as well.
Wait, am I staying wrong? No, it's actually all right. Sometimes I stand halfway in my kitchen where the base stations can't reach. That's when I probably um, usually notice that my tracking is a bit off. Ah, here. So. Oh, almost done. Nice. There's some cobble. Oh. I will probably delete some gold when I'm using the cube painter. Because over there, I found some gold earlier, or a couple of weeks ago already. So there might be a chance that there's still more gold here. Oh, there's one. Yeah. And yeah. Should 
Shouldn't there be, be more wooden locks here? Ah, okay. Oh. Come on, hit. No. Tell me. Yeah, those two. Okay. Yeah. It really does look way different. Inventory is full. Okay. Then I guess it's time to get the cube painter blocks. Almost a full chest of light wood. Oh, I still have them on me. Okay. Good. That makes it easier. I should start here. This is a good place, yes. And probably all the way over here. No, here. I think here's a good place. Ooh, so. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't get those, but that's okay. 
Oh, hier ist Gold. Nice. Yeah, like I said, I probably will delete some gold. But hey, still got some of them. There's one more here. And here. Ah, there's more. Do I have a second pickaxe? No. Okay, I'm going to make a second one. Just for the sake of finding more gold. Some gold nuggets just disappeared. And there's more. And even more. Nice. I'm going to fill this area with something anyway, so... Yeah, I can dig deep holes here. Doesn't have to look nice. It's for getting gold. Gold is more important than any holes in the ground. Seems like there's nothing else here. Ah. Come here. There's more. Maybe there will be even more gold here. here. It would be interesting to see how much gold I can get from here. Now there's just coal. Oh, a gold nugget flew to here. 
Interesting. Uh, I don't see any more gold. Let's just check here. Nope. There's some wood. So. There doesn't seem to be any gold here. Okay. Then I would say from here. In theory, I could probably also use the YouTube API to automatically post about any new CU VR video that is posted on YouTube. Ah, that would be more interesting, to be honest. Because there will always be people who will, um, yeah make videos about QPR. Would it be safe to place it here? Probably. We will see. Huh? Mm, that was... Okay. Now we just have to place one block here and the other one, it will only go to here. So it's on this level. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe I should use stones. Or didn't I have yeah here yeah, dirt? Did it work? It did. And it didn't cut anything from the actual wall. Nice. I could make a smaller one from here. Where was it? Here? Till... 
Ja, okay. Just like this. This I can do with hand. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, so now this part it goes from here. All the way to here. Come on. So. Yeah, let's say here. Or maybe let's make it here. Ah. And maybe another one from here. Maybe till here? Uh, it will probably cut out almost nothing. And the rest will be manual labor. Good. So let's start with the second shovel. Because now it's shovel time. Hey, back again. Hey, welcome back. So I did cut out most of the dirt and I found some gold. Now I'm just going to remove the last pieces of stone and dirt and then I'm done with the groundwork. Oh, I could use this as a secret entrance. So first I will remove all of the dirt and in the second phase I will go and remove all the stones. So you will get it all done today nice. Yeah, that was my aim from the beginning. So my goal for today was to get this done even if I would have streamed for 10 hours. I have the feeling that this will still take me like two or three hours now.
But it's fun. At least for me, so it's not really that bad. The intensity that I'm this using it more like something that will take 30 minutes. Um, uh, it's 10:30. Let's see if I'm done by 11 p.m. <laughs> no, I think it's about two hours. So for the workout intensity, this is not really a good workout. Attempting for the mining challenge is a really good workout. This is just movement. It gets tiring after one or two hours, but it's not so intense. I think it's always easier to shuffle upwards than downwards. There's still some wood. <laughs> Zack. Oh, 
Come on. Maybe because with downwards you have to try to move your hands down, but with upwards you just let them fall. Yeah, maybe. It's when I'm moving downwards, I have to bend over a little bit to reach downwards. And with upwards, I just, yeah, move my arms up. And only using one shovel, I usually do um, so sidewards swings, but with two shovels, that's somehow not so easy. That's why I'm using the shoveling from down to up movement. Keep shuffling. I am a shovel knight. <laughs> so. Pickaxe back up. Yeah, I will definitely use the sledgehammer because there's nothing to destroy. Only near of the uh, near the wall, I will use pickaxes. between the sledge and the pick. Um, the sledgehammer has an area of effect damage, so it's not just one block like the pickaxe, but the sledgehammer also destroys blocks. So for example, if I destroy a crystal with the sledgehammer, then the crystal gets pulverized. And here when I hit this block, all the blocks around get damaged. So if I want to destroy a lot of stones really quick, then it's the sledgehammer. 
But if I want to pick up stuff like, for example, this copper, then using the sledgehammer, see, no copper nuggets, because the sledgehammer destroys more of the resources than a pickaxe. With the pickaxe, I always get my resources. So a sledgehammer is for massive destruction of the environment, while the pickaxe is for collecting resources. I get it. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Good. Yeah. I think I'm halfway done, at least with the dirt. This will definitely add up to my destroyed blocks counter.
might even increase my average mind blocks per hour. Because I spent quite a lot of time just walking around, just not destroying anything or building stuff without destroying anything. So the average blocks that I destroyed within an hour is actually pretty low. So this should increase my statistics. Here's an invincible dirt block. That's interesting. Quite a lot of those invincible blocks here. It's actually quite annoying. <laughs> but once I'm done with the sledgehammer, I don't think they will be here anymore. Maybe just a reload will help. the block there. I'm not sure if I want to go on a late night walk after the stream or if I want to read further in my books. There's a glitch like that which can happen on Minecraft servers and when you walk into it you glitch around. Luckily for me, I never found one of those Minecraft glitches. <laughs> well, I rarely play on any servers. Other than... Uh, eh. I can search for the blocks. <laughs> so they are here.
I played a lot of Hypixel and uh, Wyoming, this um, role-playing Minecraft server. Yeah, they made a whole RPG with Minecraft. Something with W and Y in the name. Didn't play much into this because Hypixel Skyblick was still better, at least from my experience. I even supported it Hypixel with an MVP++ subscription. And I gave my girlfriend of this time the I VIP I plus. Too, but don't really anymore. Yeah, me neither. They changed so much that it um, yeah, wasn't fun anymore. And now I would have to probably start over again to s experience all the new stuff. And yeah, I don't have the time to start Minecraft all over. Back when I played um, on Hypixel, I still was at my former company, where I sat mostly in an office. I played Minecraft, but once again done. And yeah, I used my time in the office to read the forum watch guides how to get all of the talismans and stuff like this and it was really a lot of fun but it was again more about the information gathering than the actual playing the same and back then i was still reading a lot of fate grand order guides for every event that happened because i had the time at work and just gathering all the information was a lot of fun. Now that I don't work in an office anymore, I don't have the time to yeah, search for any informations and guides. But usually I don't need them. <laughs> Sometimes I'm the one who is making the guides in form of tutorial videos. I think um, I have. How much dirt do you think is on the ground right now? Um, I would guess maybe two hundred. So I I have no dirt in my inventory. make some space so we could all um, make a little guess game how much dirt is lying around mm, 50 100 150 to 250 uh, 
312. Okay. Let's see who is closer. After this, I'm going to reload the world. No, 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 don't, don't fall down. Maybe those invincible blocks are the remnants of the trees that I fell. Ghosts of all the dirt are haunting you. <laughs> oh! Not enough space in inventory. 100, 200. Okay, more than 300, that means you won. So it's probably 400. So. You can remember 300? Didn't look like that much. That's a lot of dirt. Mm -hmm. No, it really didn't. T. I thought I had guessed too low. Ah, oh. three hundred, four hundred, four hundred forty five. That's interesting. Pretty good. Only 55 crystals in my world. That's good. So, I'm going to reload the world. That's what I was talking about, Stormbreak. <laughs> 